Isaac Pitbull Cruz takes on Jose Rial Valenzuela August 3rd, but I'm thinking this is going to be a one-sided beatdown on Pitbull Cruz's behalf. And by no means am I saying Rial doesn't have the skill set or a chance to win this one. I just feel Pitbull Cruz can definitely capitalize on Rial's flaws. Rial comes into this fight with a 6-inch height advantage as well as a 7-inch reach advantage. Definitely nothing new for Pitbull Cruz as he's always been the shorter fighter in almost all of his fights. And it's no surprise when Pitbull steps in the ring what he's gonna bring. That come forward, high guard, Mexican style of fighting. He really came onto the scene with his performance against Tank Davis, probably giving him his toughest test to date, but ultimately losing a close decision. And with most recent fights, knocking out Rolly Romero and beating up Giovanni Cabrera, he's shown he can knock you out, as well as has the motor to go a full 12 rounds. Rayo Valenzuela, on the other hand, is a come forward boxer puncher that's shown that he can box as well as has the knockout power to get you out of there. In his last fight, we were able to see that he has knockout power when he avenged his loss against Chris Colbert, really breaking him down and knocking him out cold in the sixth. But his flaws that he showed in his first loss against Edwin De Los Santos are what I feel will be his undoing in this fight. Even though Ryo has the skills to stay on the outside, he usually chooses to fight fire with fire and get into 50-50 exchanges. In the first round, Ryo would have some success with combinations, but would get reckless and get wobbled with a jab while coming in. But midway through the second round, De Los Santos would catch and shoot off of an uppercut and catch Ryo with a heavy right hook. They would later in that round get into a 50-50 exchange where Ryo would knock down De Los Santos. De Los Santos would get up and Ryo willing to throw in those exchanges would end up getting rocked multiple times and dropped as well in another 50-50 exchange. Ryo would ultimately lose by stoppage in the third. But this is how I really feel the Ryo versus Pitbull fight will go. I feel Pitbull is going to really come forward and Ryo is going to try to throw with him. And like I said previously, Ryo has the skills and athleticism to box and stay on the outside. I just don't think he's going to be able to resist a firefight, especially with the pressure of this fight being the co-main on a big card. But I could definitely be wrong and it wouldn't be my first time. Ryo might have a different game plan and stay on the outside and box and get to a unanimous decision or even catch Pitbull in between punches. But like I say, it's boxing and you never know. If y'all have made it this far in the video, y'all go ahead and let me know y'all thoughts down in the comments on this fight. Who you guys have winning this one. Go ahead and hit that like as well as subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.